Hey guys, welcome to my channel. It's Elizabeth. Today I'm going to take you through a makeup tutorial. And if you're interested to see how I achieve this no foundation makeup tutorial, then stay tuned. My first step is using the LA Girl Infinity Primer. I'm going to use this primer to prime my face and I'm going to apply around the areas where I crease the most and just spread it around the face next I'm going to use the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Cool Tan and Fawn I'll start with the Cool Tan which is the lightest shade followed by the Fawn which is almost the same color as my skin I'm just going to highlight around my T-zone which is the forehead and the eyes under my nose on my chin and on my my lines on the side of my my lips and yeah as for blending out i'm going to blend around my chin areas and my mouth area my forehead and the only place i want to blend is under my eyes i let you let it settle a little bit so i can get the coverage i want next i'm going in with the dark concealer from the elegal pro concealer in the shade shade Dark cocoa. I'm going to contour around my nose, on my forehead, on my cheekbones, and on my jawline. And I like doing that because I like the bronzy effect it gives. And yeah. <music> my under eyes i'm going to start blending out i'm going to blend in using a brush and for brush i'm just going to blend it to mix the two shade of concealer before i go in with the beauty blender to remove all those harsh lines and give it a seamless feel and to remove any excess concealer left and yep. For the next step, I'm going in with a blush. This isn't a blush, this is a lipstick, but I'm using it as a blush, and it's from the LA Colors lipstick mini lipsticks i'm just going to apply to give it that lift before i go with a more pigmented powder blush <laughs> going in with a concealer and it's in the shade phone and it's from the LA Girl Pro Concealer. I'll use it as my foundation because this makeup is a no foundation makeup and I'm just going to apply it to cover any dark marks and any blemishes around the areas where I mostly apply my foundation. Just a quick reminder, if you haven't subscribed, don't forget to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, comment down below, and also you can watch my previous videos, I've linked them in my description box. We 
we are done with the liquids now we are going to the powder i'm using the sacha buttercup setting powder and i go very light handed with it because i want this makeup look to be just like a clean glowy makeup look so i'm using very minimal powder just to blend in around my under eyes to remove the shine and reduce any glow that is not wanted and yeah i'm very careful with it and i play around the areas you have applied my cons the two shades of concealer and yeah where i have let's say i i have alighted my face i'm going in with a compressed powder from the la girl and this compressed powder is my shade so i'm going to apply it around the areas where my foundation is supposed to be in but i i had used a concealer so i'm going to apply around that area to remove that shine and to give that seamless feel and i love this powder very much i feel like it's just a perfect compressed powder you will need i'm going to use a brush just to blend in anything that hasn't blended and to remove excess powder and all those harsh lines next i'm going for my eyebrows for my eyebrows i have a full tutorial on how to do your eyebrows and i'll also link that video in the description box if you haven't watched then feel free to watch that video and it's detailed and it's a very beginner friendly tutorial so here i'm going with the dark brown eye pencil from the air women and it's retails for only 30 kenyan shilling i'm going to fill in my brows and i want my brows to be a little bit darker I'm using the Elegal Pro Concealer in the shade phone and if it will be easier for me to blend it in and uh, that's why I'm going for the shade and yeah so that is how I clean my eyebrows and Masquerade Mini by Juvia's. I'm going with a brown color. I'm just going to spread around my eyelids, and yeah, that will be just very simple. And I think this is the best for this look. I'm going in with a dark colossal Kajal pencil. I bought it at a cosmetic shop, and I'll finish off with a mascara from kiss beauty this mascara is not smudge proof i won't recommend it and yeah now i'm going to add a little bit of color on my cheeks i'm using the masquerade mini i'm using two shades which is a pink and a purple shade shade next i'm going with a brown eye lip pencil and i bought this at a cosmetic shop just going to line my lips with it next i'm going with a pink lipstick which is a number four i bought it uh on jumia and i don't remember the brand because even on jumia you can you it's not there anymore and yeah i'm going to finish off with a lip gloss from the from absolute and then go in with the palette which is a girl flower palette and i'm going to apply a highlighter in my inner corners on my nose and on my cheekbone to give it that 
glow and that lifted look and to finish off this look i'm just using my compressed powder from elegal i'm just going to apply all over my face and yeah as this video has come to an end and that is the final look guys this is so pretty so cute and don't forget to comment down below what you like about this look and yeah